Hello my friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we have a special one and we're going to talk a little bit more about it. But here are the easy lights. We're going to be making a light up card. And then we have the iCrafter tunnel card insert. This one is Halloween and it does make for a box card if you have the other piece. But today we're just going to use this piece to make a card. So this is an add-on. Um, and we're gonna make a card out of it. It's super cool. All right, so let's get started. I have a piece of gray cardstock that I'm gonna trim down to four inches by five and a quarter, so it'll be a little bit smaller than an A2 size card. And then I wanna do a little bit of ink blending on this. We're gonna put some clouds on there. And so I'll just grab out some um, a cloud stencil and some hickory smoke distress ink and then we're going to blend that all over that background. I started at the top meant to start at the bottom so you'll see me shift gears here in a second but as I said this is a collaboration between Pear Blossom Press and iCrafter and what a great combo. Oh my goodness what a great combo. I, in fact, I'm so in love with this end result of this card that by the time we're done with it, I don't know that I'm going to give it away. <laughs> I'm having so much fun playing with it. I love it. It's eerie. It's just fabulous. And so I, this is a blog hop. And so I'm going to have my blog linked down below. So you definitely want to go check that out. So you can sh go check out all the rest of the inspiration. Not only that, but Amanda from Pear Blossom Press and Linda from iCrafter are going to be going live on their various uh, stages and so I'll have those links all over on my blog so again head down there hit that blog check it all out you don't want to miss all the fun all right so now that that is all blended on there I want to do a little bit of splatter because yeah this eerie gray background with all those clouds is so cool but I don't know what it is about splatter so I pulled out my Gonsai Tombi starry colors and I'm just going to splatter, splatter, splatter all over that background. This is more of a champagne gold, so it's kind of lighter, kind of a not quite as gold. And I'm going to heat set that so that I can run this through my die cutting machine. Because here I'm going to grab out the first piece from the Halloween insert. I'll tack that down with a little bit of mint tape, run that through my die cutting machine, and check it out. Now we have a little window with some eerie little trees. I love it. And then I'm going to run the next piece through. I actually just ran it through on a scrap piece of black cardstock. There's probably a better way to do this, but I'm just going to line that up on my back and cut off the top part because I don't need it. You probably need it <laughs> for the box card itself, but since we're not making a box card and we're just making a card, we're going to tack down this piece to our window just using a little bit of liquid glue. And then we still have that window open. It's great. And we have this really spooky haunted house. So this is where our lights come in, these easy lights. If you've seen me before, you know this is nothing new. I love these easy lights. You're gonna pull out a battery and you're gonna pull out one of the mechanisms. And it's that simple. That mechanism has the lights right on it. You're gonna take your battery and line up the plus on the battery with the plus on the mechanism. Pop that in press your button and you have lights. Yeah, that easy. All right, there's three lights and I have two windows and a door. So we're going to stick those lights right behind the windows and the door. And I'm going to do that with just some washi tape. Y'all, it's going to look like a hot mess back here, but it doesn't matter because no one is going to see that. I mean, unless they tear apart the part, but who's or tear apart the card, but who's doing that, right? All right, so I'm just using little bits of washi tape to tack the first one down so that none of that washi tape shows. I'm going to cut that back a little bit. Um, there's other ways I'm sure you could adhere these, but washi tape is easy, and we all have loads of it in our stash, I'm sure. I'll take the next one, just lining it up behind that window, tack it down, and I'm testing in between just to make sure that I have good placement. The nice thing about the washi tape is that if I don't like it, I can move it, and then we'll tack that one behind the door. Once again, testing it. Ooh, I love it. I already love it and it's not even completely put together. So yes. And then we're gonna take our mechanism itself and we do need to adhere it to the back. I like to make sure that my battery is accessible just in case whoever receives this wants to replace the battery at some point because let's be honest, it's probably gonna be me because I'm gonna keep playing with this. <laughs> I'm gonna need to replace that battery. But what I love about these easy lights, not only is that they're easy, but I will be honest with you, Interactive cards used to scare the stew out of me, but these have given me a whole new confidence. 
I love trying interactive cards now. I don't know what it is, but Amanda just has given me this like desire to want to try all the interactive cards. Like I think I can do it now. Um, and these are super, super easy. This is such a great way to open the door into trying out some interactive cards. And I know Linda from iCrafter has some amazing dies for making interactive cards. And I think I'm going to have to take the plunge is all I'm saying with a little bit more. I do have a piece of navy cardstock and that does measure four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm tacking that third die right behind. And again, there's probably a better way to do this, but that worked. And so ran that through my die cutting machine and it doesn't, it isn't going to look like much until we attach this all down to our card base, but we now have some bats and a moon and yeah, love it. There's also a jack-o'-lantern die in the iCrafter Halloween card insert. And so I took one of them with his cute little face. I know he's supposed to be creepy, but he's cute. And then I'm going to pull out the Push Me stamp from the Interactively Yours stamp set that Amanda carries in her store. And I'm just going to stamp Push Me. So that way the recipient knows where to push for some interactive fun. And then I'm going to just take my little jack-o'-lantern and I'll glue him down right next to it. So it draws even more attention to that area. All right, now is the time to add some foam tape. And typically, if you just have regular foam tape, you can just double that up and that'll work fine. You definitely wanna make sure you double it up. But this foam tape, this is the Heffy Doodle foam tape. It is 12 millimeters deep. And that is perfect for shaker cards. It's also perfect for these light up cards. And you only obviously have to add one layer. So I went all the way around, avoided the lights themselves and obviously our mechanism, but just wanted to make sure that I had this, to, it was plenty sturdy around our mechanism. So that way when it goes through the mail, it's not constantly being lit up. But you can also put a little insert of paper in between the battery and such. So that way it's not constantly going either. I'll take off that release paper and stick this down to our front. We have a nice little navy blue border all the way around that. And then I'm gonna run the beware and then our little like wrought iron fence through my die cutting machine over some black cardstock as well. And that way we can do a little bit more decorating. So I'm popping out all the little pieces for the word beware. And then I also have a couple more jack-o'-lanterns and I'll save our little wrought iron fences for the inside of my card. Cause if you know me, I have to do something. So these other two little jack-o'-lanterns, one is the same as that one before and the other one's supposed to look like he's spooked. They're just too cute. Oh, they're cute. So now I'll take my liquid glue and I'll adhere those down to the front, starting with our little jack-o'-lanterns. And then I'll do the word beware. But again, hop around, go see what everybody has made. You're gonna be inspired. It's gonna just, uh, you're gonna love it, it's gonna be fun. And you know, of course there's prizes to be won, so you don't wanna miss that. All right, I've put down Beware, and now we're going to attach this down to a white card base. And that's where our moon and bats will really shine because they're gonna be now white on the background, which is cool, I like that. And then I'll take our little wrought iron fences and put this on the inside as well. So we got one there and another one. So a fun little card, plenty of room to write to your recipient. I love this. I keep saying that, but I'm telling you, <laughs> this one had me so inspired. And I think I made this late at night. So I was like, I want to make all the light ups. <laughs> and there you have it. So let's take a closer look at it. Oh, how fun is that? It lights up and it's an eerie, spooky Halloween scene. So let's have a couple of close up pictures. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And again, be sure to head down to the description box to head on over to my blog so that you don't miss any of the fun. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.